fairies and welcome back to my channel it's me Lorija Andrea and if you guys like hear something that's my air conditioning because it is 95 degrees today and it is hot okay so before I get into this video I just want to address something I made a post on my social media IG that is I don't really go on snapchat like that anymore but I made a post on my Instagram yesterday Basically, just like super depressed, super upset because I I was supposed to launch my line two weeks from now. And that is all on pause. I literally don't even know when I'm even going to be able to really launch my line at this point. Like, I don't even want to think about it because I'm just like so upset. Basically, long story short, I was working with a vendor. You know, I built a rapport with them. I've been working with them since freaking January. Um, I worked with a couple of vendors trying to sample out their hair and everything like that, but this was like the main vendor that I liked. This was the main vendor that I, I really loved their hair. Now, I felt like when I was testing out the hair and when I was testing it out, the hair was perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it, this was kind of one of those instances where, um, you know, sometimes beauty gurus are considered to be having a bad reputation because when it comes to working with these companies they'll send the beauty gurus or you know people that's going to be supporting their business and promoting their business the good hair and then they send everybody else the shitty hair basically and i feel like this was kind of one of those situations because when it came to them sending me sending me hair my hair was freaking gorgeous and then when it came to me doing my early bird specials and you know i'm giving you the guys this hair at a very cheap price or whatever compared to the price that i was going to sell the hair for they were sending some of my clients like very bad hair so they were just very inconsistent like one 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 person will say that they love my hair they think it's fabulous there's no shedding blah 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 and then the next person would basically email me be like you know this hair is terrible like it's shedding too much and blah 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 one thing about me is I'm very thorough, I'm very real, and I really just, I'm honest, you know what I'm saying? And um, one thing about me is I never, I have no problem saying when I'm wrong, and I have no problem saying that, you know, I effed up, like I, I did, because I felt like I did my research in depth, but apparently I did not. Um, I 100,000% apologize to everybody that was getting the really bad bundles you know i talked to you guys one-on-one -on -one and you know we pretty much discussed the next steps as far as that and me finding my new vendors and all that stuff so literally it's to the point where i'm legit starting from scratch i don't even want to think about it because you guys know if you follow me and you are a true supporter you know how draining and how stressful this whole journey has been so even to think that i have to i didn't get anywhere and i literally have to start all over again like i just don't even want to think about it like i just don't so um i was very upset yesterday you know i was crying and everything like it's just a very stressful situation so up until this point I don't have a freaking vendor. Um, as far as my eyelashes, I'm sticking with that vendor. I'm sticking with my packaging um, company. I'm sticking with all of that. So most likely, I'll be launching my lashes on my website before my hair. I'll probably just have like a section for my hair just saying coming soon. I really want to get the lashes out to you guys because you guys have been freaking waiting on those for forever. Um, that production will be done next week, so hopefully I'm able to start everything up within the next week and a half, if that, maybe not even that. But those are very, those are coming very soon, so that's all done. I don't even have to worry about that anymore. That's all done. So as far as the hair, I'm still going to launch my brand. It's just not going to have the hair that needs to be set out. It's going to have a whole different time frame. I don't even know when like i just i need to figure it out so i will still be doing my lashes part but as far as the hair we need to get that together and figure that out and i need to just do more research and you know just get that in order because i freaking review hair all the time i've been on youtube reviewing hair for the past two and a half going on three years now so i know what good hair is i know what i want for my brand and i am holding myself to a a certain expectation as far as that so you know, I really want to take more time in that and really figure that out and just 
have a better way to develop my that whole that whole thing. Like I'm still figuring things out as far as that. So um, again, I just want to apologize to everybody that was getting the really bad bundles and the really really bad hair. Like this freaking company stole thousands and thousands. Like I don't even want to talk about it because it's going to get me even more upset. Like I just don't even want to think about that up until this point. But again, um, I said it in my IG story. You know. Things are gonna happen. This is just the, the downside of having a business and this is just what it comes to sometimes. And when having a business, you're going to mess up and you're going to mess up bad sometimes. So, um, you know, the worst is not here. It, this is kind of just like a, I'm happy it happened now. And I get to learn from everything that just happened. I'm all about learning in life. I tell you guys this all the time. I'm all about learning. So I'm just happy it happened now. Um, before my brand actually really launched because I I don't want to be that person to sell you guys shit just to get you guys this money That's just not me. That's just not my personality. You know what I'm saying? So Enough of that I just wanted to clear that up and just talk about that because you know address the elephant in the freaking room Because we're not gonna act like that never freaking happened yesterday So yeah, I wanted to talk about it address it before we get into doing this whole little You know get ready with me hair makeup and all that stuff so yeah so pretty much I wanted to do this more like a real-time type of thing like I'm gonna talk through this whole process from my hair to my makeup to my outfit um, this is pretty much like a tomboy edition I am a hundred thousand percent a tomboy so um, I have my moments when I dress up and I wear heels and I wear dresses and skirts and all that stuff but 89.9% of the time I'm in sneakers sweatpants you know uh shorts or whatever i like to be comfortable that's just how i just like to be comfortable like i don't like tight things all the time like if i have to wear something tight i will but for the most part i'm always wearing loose clothing or whatever not even because i feel like i'm fat or anything um but just i just like to i just like to be comfortable so this is going to be a tomboy edition if you guys are a little bit more girly, I would definitely say there's a ton of YouTubers out here that do all of these get ready with me, makeup hair, and you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, if you want something more of like a girly style, definitely check them out. But if you want something more like a, a tomboy, be comfortable. Realistically, we are having about 20 minutes to get ready. Come to this channel because that is me. So I'm going to get right into the hair. I'm going to be going back and forth between my hair and makeup because that's literally what I do. So I have this little eyelash case thing and I'm going to be using this as my tray for my got to be glue. So I have a video out already of how I clean my lace and how I put on my lace and all that. But like I said, this is still going to be a real time type of video. So I'm going to redo it anyway and do it on camera. So. I like to just get a little bit of the got to be on here because this stuff is sticky and it can get messy. So I have my little wooden spatula. Wig cap is already on. So we are just going to prep the hairline with the got to be glue because um, normally I would just go ahead and use the got to be spray. Um, you can definitely just use this, but it is hot outside today and my full lace wig that I have from <coughs> My full lace wig that I have from wide wigs I didn't put an elastic band on it because it is a full lace wig You can still put elastic bands on a full lace wig, but I just I didn't have time I just wanted to really hurry up and get this video out before the sun goes down um, So yeah, so you can definitely use the spray if you want to use the spray But I'm going to be using the spray and the glue slash gel because it's hot outside and I don't want my wig to go anywhere so um, you can still do this in like realistic time in the morning you just have to kind of do it the way that I'm doing it as in like going back and forth with your hair and makeup we're not going to be spending that much time on our makeup that beat is going to be like literally slim to none seriously um my skin is to the point where i want it i don't need to wear makeup like that anymore and i actually don't really wear makeup like that anymore if i'm not filming i'm not wearing makeup like i said i am a straight tomboy for those that did not know i'm a, a, a extreme tomboy 
I just happen to do weaves and makeup, but if I'm not filming, you will not see me doing any of this, really. Or if I don't have an event to go to or something like that. So we're just gonna let that air dry and we're gonna move on to the face. So as far as brows, like I said, my skin is where I need it. Let me grab my freaking makeup bag because we're going to need that. Hello. I'm going to use my brow wax. This is from NYX. Um, I don't even know when I started to use brow waxes, but I feel like they help times a thousand. Um, my brows are pretty good as far as, you know, me not needing to do too much. They have a shape and everything. Um, if I'm in a rush, I more so just fill. So I'm just going to take my Benefit Precisely, my brow in number five because I usually use number four, but since I have a tan, I like to use number five. But if it's like for an everyday brow, I would just use a very light hand and just fill in any sparse areas. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some concealer. This is the NARS Amon Concealer. You guys have seen me use this so many freaking times. The thing is, I'm not going to take too much because this is not really going to be like a full beat. I'm going to take a little bit, just enough to clean up my brows. And I'm only really going to focus on the ends because that's really what I want, really where I want the most sharpness. I don't really know what I wanted to say. This makeup routine is what I do like all the time when I'm like rushing or anything. Okay, now I'm just going to, I'm gonna take a different brush. I don't want that stuff on it. Just going to blend this concealer in like so. See how they are done, but it's not like, you know, OD crazy. Okay, so I believe my glue is all done. Now I'm gonna move on to applying my wig. So this is my wig from White Wigs. It's a full lace wig. I think I'm gonna do a, a, a whole separate video of how I like to apply my wigs, full lace wigs and wear them in like high ponytails and braids and like, you know, stuff like that. But for this video purpose, you know, it's not realistic to be able to wear a full lace wig like full lace wig so I think I'm gonna do a separate video of how I like to apply it especially in the back um, for people that's wondering so my glue is pretty much you know done so now I'm just going to put these back and apply it and a little bit of room in the front. My young girl trying to blow to me, and it's so crazy. Now they know they me, yeah. My real ones never play me less. A bunch of people out there ain't heard of me yet. Like a lunchtime show, I be getting requests. I ain't stressed, cause I know they do it, cause we blessed. Even these young games going harder. From your ox score to a mix from a lava. I want the money, don't bank on what I like. Ain't nobody better than the G young card. So, hey, you. I'm going to let this dry before I start, you know, making anything um, as far as fixing the lace and all that, I need it to dry first because it's still like kind of wet. Get my black strips, you can get these drawn from your local beauty supply. And pull it pretty tight so that it really lays down. Okay, so while that is doing all that, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. So as far as eyes, not doing anything cray cray. I'm just gonna take uh, some of the NARS concealer and put some on just to give me a blank canvas on my eyes, just so it gives me like a blank canvas like this. I 
legit, <laughs> I legit back in the day, like high school time and like when I was like a freshman, sophomore, because I kind of stopped doing this like um, junior, senior year, but like a freshman, sophomore in college and stuff, I legit sat in my freaking dorm room and did my makeup like this, like no lie. like. I, <laughs> I woke up early so school started at like what um 7 35 i will look i legit will wake up at like five o'clock <laughs> five o'clock to do my hair and makeup before i went to school because you're young you want to make a freaking impression you don't know who you want to see you don't know what boys or you know girls or whatever the hell type of way that you go you don't know who the hell you're gonna be seeing and running into so for the first impression you want to look decent Nobody saying you gotta be going out with freaking drag makeup and all that, but I wanted to look decent on my first days and first coming to school. I don't know about anybody else, but now I'm gonna take my face powder and I'm just going to pat that all over my lid and brow bone. I'm using the same brush. I'm gonna take my powder that I like to use as my bronzer and just put this in my crease, not in cray cray. I'm gonna take some mascara. This is the Monsieur Big from Lancome. I just had it in my bag. Ow! I don't know which lashes I wanna do. Do I wanna do my needle lashes or do I wanna do my Tanya's? Let's see. I'm gonna show you guys both of them actually. I don't know. Maybe I'll do my Tanya's. I always do my needles. I'm gonna do my Tanya's. Um, so, let me show y'all what they look like. Ooh. and the packaging before I put them on so they're like the little spiky ones they're not like super spiky but you guys know what I mean like they're the ones that have like the spaces in between I love yeah this helps they're the ones with the spaces in between and of course all my lashes are 3d they have multiple layers and stuff um, I think I'm gonna do these because I love lashes like these I think that they make your eyes look so freaking pretty. I actually can go ahead and just move on to my powder foundation because I'm not gonna be putting it on my forehead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna be using primer spray. This is the Scandinavia makeup primer spray. Shake it up, spray. What the heck? I don't know what's going on with that freaking, what the hell? What is this? I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I don't really need it, but I'm just gonna brighten us up just a little bit. This is the Too Faced Toffee. Maybe I'm just gonna put it right in here. Not in cray cray. I don't feel like going to wet my freaking Beauty blender, so I'm gonna use this Sigma brush I just got in the mail. How about that? Now I have an excuse. I'm gonna use both of them. Um, I got these new brushes. They're from their 3D Dimensional line. I believe it launches August 28th. What's today? Is today August 28th? What's today? I don't know. Maybe today is August 28th. Anyway, it launches on August 28th and it comes with four different brushes in the set. Um, this one is the concealer one, it's the 4D HD Kabuki, and this one is the powder concealer that you're supposed to like, you know, this is the Edge Kabuki F87. So yeah, I'm going to use the concealer one to blend in my concealer, and let's see how this does. Ooh, from what I see, it's alright. Looks like I blended it out with the freaking beauty blender. This is gonna be my new brush when I'm lazy and I don't feel like cleaning my beauty blender. Um, I'm going to use my Sephora. I'm gonna use both of my Sephora powders actually. I like to use both of them. Uh, the darker one for my face and a lighter one for under my eyes and where I would normally put my highlight. So I'm gonna use the powder concealer brush, I guess like the setting powder. Um, oh, that fits perfectly. 
and this little crevice. Woohoo! Y'all, I have found my freaking brushes for my everyday. I'm not trying to do a complete beat down routine. And then I'm gonna take this brush. This is from Makeup Addiction. It's their jumbo powder. I'm gonna use my darker Sephora powder Ooh, to put the rest of my face. Look how good my skin is. Let me. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine. I put it on my Instagram, but I guess I'll put it on here too since I have more of you guys on my YouTube than I do Instagram. I've been trying to work on my Instagram a lot more, which is why I've been like, you know, on there really more than here. But like I said, I'm gonna be back because we're not gonna talk about the tragedy that just happened. So I'm gonna be on here a lot more now. So don't worry guys, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna take that same bronzer that I put it's not a bronzer, it's just like a regular face powder. But I use it as a bronzer because it's like the perfect red brown. And I'm gonna take my Sephora number 59 brush and use this to give us a subtle bronze type of look because we didn't do any cream contour or anything. Because like I said, we're not trying to look too extreme. We're just trying to look subtly done. Um, take that same brush that we used for our eye Zip. and slightly contour the nose. I am struggling. There we go. Woof. There we go. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Oh, let me get my highlight and then I'm done. Oh no, I'm lying. I still have to do my liner and lip gloss. Just gonna put a little bit because today we are very subtle. Not trying to blind my haters today. I'm just trying to subtly blind. This is the controlled blender brush from Makeup Forever and the other one was the 98 highlight brush from Sephora. I like to put some on my brow bone. Like so. And we done, girl. I'm lying. I still need to do my lip liner and my um, whatchamacallit. So, what I need to do? Oh, do my bottom mascara. Yo, this wand just be giving me a problem. Okay, hook in the area. Okay. So I'm just gonna spray my face. This is the Too Faced Hangover Spray that I love to just seal in everything and make my makeup last longer and give me like a very good hydrated look. Oh, I love these lashes. Like I can't. I can't. Um, let me just do my liner and lip gloss and then we are all done with this whole entire look. This is what I'm saying, you can get glammed, but still look decent, you know what I'm saying? Where's my hot cocoa liner? I have not seen that in a while. And I bought like 50. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my NYX dark brown liner. Line my lips, and also fill in my edges. Okay, we are all done. Let me take this off. Take off all of this excess glue. I'm just gonna take my MAC makeup wipes. I feel like with these wipes, it comes right off like so. Don't press too hard or you're going to try to take off your freaking waist front. But yeah, it comes right off guys. No worries. No worries. 
taking my foundation powder and just blending in this hairline a little bit more. Now, as far as like the hair, I'm just going to fluff it. Now, I like like that messy look, you know. And I actually prefer um, the full lace curly wigs over the bundles, only because I feel like let me cut this. Now, like I said, this is the white wigs, full lace, Peruvian, Jerry Curly, I think that's what I said. Okay, fairies, so don't mind Ariel in the background. She just wanted to be all up in this footage. So, um, basically, this is my outfit. I pretty much just trying to change up my pants I was wearing a different pants so I decided to wear some sweatpants I'm wearing a shirt from forever 21 pants from forever 21 my back is from Steve Madden these shoes are from Giuseppe's and I'm wearing a ton of different bangles from um, Alex and Annie and a whole bunch of other things but I will leave everything in the description box of exactly where I got everything from um, if you guys want to start seeing a lot more uh, get ready with me full body definitely let me know down in the description box also I told you guys on my Instagram but I lost a ton of weight and you guys can see that I look way slimmer than I did in my last full get ready with me but that's because I lost 14 pounds in one month that's cray cray I think it's all because of stress you guys were saying maybe it was because all the stress I was under but um, like I said I'm gonna be back on YouTube a lot more um because you know my whole situation but that's a good thing because you guys are going to be seeing me more um but thank you guys always for the support thank you so much for the kind positive messages um as always i love you guys and bye